it happened. It happened. Like the worst happened for us. I'm here to tell that story. I was born in Cambodia before the, the Khmer Rouge took over, and life there was very good, very fun. Farmers would go to farm the fields, and then there would be festivals, and you know, I, I don't remember much about the war uh, because I was too young. I remember just playing and with the, other, the rest of the kids and a lot of fun time. When the Khmer Rouge took over, people were on edge, you know, uh, don't know what they're going to do, don't know how to react, don't know how to live. We don't know what to expect. And a lot of people were leaving. You know, my mother was telling me that we have everything packed. And we're all ready to go. And then my father decided to stay back because he didn't want to leave my grandmother because she was old and she was not well. Um, so he just unpacked, unload everything and from the vehicle and, and we stayed back. My father, so you know, again, I, I was very young, you know, I was five years old, and you know, what, how much can a five-year-old remember? But people always talk about how athletic he was and how much talent he had with arts, you know, dancing and singing and performing. And, and then on top of that, he was a teacher. They were there all day long. They were there all day long, surrounding the, our house and the neighbor's home, keeping their eyes on him. So at night, when I was asleep, when everyone was asleep except for my mother and him, and so they came into our home and asked for him. And so he, they took him tied his in the hand behind his back, put him on a bike, and took him out side of town. And from the neighbors, from the people around, uh, uh, you know, on the road, saying that they heard him crying, begging them for mercy. But, you know, we are also, we're fortunate because you just take the whole family and just kill the whole family, right? My mother, she is amazing. A widow at a young age with three little kids, less than five years old and was able to take them away from Cambodia to the refugee camp to America. She never really had peace in her life until she came to the United States. And, uh, now that we're here in the United States, she's just very thankful that you know, we don't have to struggle and, and look for food.
My mom carries a lot of knowledge on cooking Cambodian food. She want me to learn the the recipe the way that she she cooks so I can continue on or, or you know keep it going or you know passing on the torch I guess that's the word but uh, the Khmer word is Panta uh, Panta uh, that is like a continuing uh, what we're doing. Mekong Bistro brought everyone together. You know, I, I came from a tropical, uh, tropical country to a nice rainy, wet <laughs> city, but I, I I love it here. You know, 40 years, and I I've never left the city been here ever since yeah Portland Portland is special to me it's uh it's where I grew up and it's where I met my wife and it's where I, I made friends and you know and all my families are here this is a, it's a special city for me